videos I mentioned that we sold one of our tractors and I had an announcement coming up. Well, today is delivery day on my new tractor. It's a Case IH 290. It came from Ohio. In December, my wife and I drove all the way to Ohio and back to look at this tractor. And it looked pretty decent and it was a price that I could live with. So the truck driver will be here any minute and we get to unload my new tractor. Oh, and I should mention this is my first ever tractor, so I'm pretty excited about it. The truck driver said there's some duels I'm gonna have to unload with a loader. So I got the chain set up on the loader over here. I'll go get it started. By the way, this is the loader that we had in the shop this winter, switching over from one tractor to a different one. Everything worked out really good. Here he is, he's just pulling off the highway. Getting my duels unloaded here. Back duels and front duels. Got it unloaded. My dad and I took it for a test run. So far everything seems to be pretty good. The GPS works and they have the right tires on it so I just couldn't be any happier. It's the next day now. I'm in the new tractor here driving down the road. My dad and I spent all morning today putting the duels on this tractor. And just a couple hours after it arrived on our farm, it's heading out to the field. I have some disking to do on a field that we're putting beets on. And I thought that would be a good test for this tractor, see how it's doing. So far it rides real nice, nice and smooth. It came fully equipped with the carpeted floors. So I can take my shoes off, kick back just like I'm in my easy chair at home. And if I get tired, I'll just curl up down here on the floor, take a nap. Life is pretty good here in the Case 290. Pulling up to the field here. This is the disc I'm gonna be pulling. We gotta hook onto it and then we'll go do some disking. That's the 7140 hooked onto the Harrow. I was running that the other day. First time out in the tractor. Let's do this. Now I get to learn how to run this GPS.
Okay, it's the next day now. I'm back up here in the 290 disking. I got just a little bit left, like a round to go. And then I'm gonna jump in the harrow. I have about 40 acres of harrowing to do over there. I'm out here in the field with the harrow. Just wanted to show you guys the purpose of what I'm doing here. This is the line I've harrowed here and I haven't harrowed over here. The ground's still kind of rough here. And you can see I spread fertilizer. The harrow will work that into the soil. If I don't work it in, the fertilizer can evaporate out into the environment. And also, I'm wanting to spread the straw out some. Like right here, it's a lot of straw. If you get a seed laying down in this, it's not going to germinate. It's going to dry up really fast sitting in that straw. So the harrow will go and spread those little straw piles out. You know, there's straw here, but it's spread out pretty decent. On this field, I have to be really careful with managing the straw because I want straw on top. It'll help hold the soil down. When it gets windy, the soil can start blowing here. So the straw will help hold the soil down. But of course, I don't want too much straw laying like that pile I showed you over there to where the seed wouldn't germinate. You have to find the perfect balance between the two. I don't know if I hit it right or not, but that's farming. It's kind of guessing. This tractor is kind of loud. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I thought I'd film a little of what it's like in here. I'm going six miles an hour. It's a 50 foot wide harrow, so pretty nice and wide. You get a lot done in a hurry. It's plugging up with straw, which I don't really like much, but it's all right. You can see behind me it's nice and smooth and the straw is evened out better. Looking pretty good.
This might be one of the most random videos I've ever made. I'm jumping from tractor to tractor, but now I'm jumping in this one. We got this land roller behind that we're renting. It's basically just like a steamroller. Wherever I disked, now the soil is really fluffy. And I'm gonna take this along and it's just gonna pack the soil. I guess I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks so much for watching everyone.